In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe and how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned.
It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue, see? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we know's better. Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred Hall of Heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> Softly, Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. from the shackles of death. My old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> Of 
great archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. A guide to covens for witches and witchcraft enthusiasts. A witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing adventure, yet they are a reclusive people and have to be summoned by the aid of mystic charms or talismans. Let it be known that help from a witch is rarely given freely, and the witch will more often than not make a request of the adventure before any such help is given. If seeking to summon a witch, remember that they are quite territorial. Any signs of previous witch activity in an area is a good indication that a witch can be called upon. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity, feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. To pay homage to the heroes, Stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and it can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Ganymere. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Cardock, a clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> oh, goodbye, sir. Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall. When you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. You are entering a house of pain. 
Rumors abound of evil doings in the secret catacombs below this very hall. The stained glass demon is the master of the mausoleum. His wretched soul lies preserved inside a frozen glass heart. Shrouded in a veil of darkness beneath the mausoleum, you will find this pre-frozen menace. The would-be phantom longs to play a new tune, but he seems doomed to repeat the same cause of despair over and over.
It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. Ah, Fortescue! What's this I hear about that archcad Zarog still being alive? Thought you killed the fella. <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny's zombies a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my warhammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. <laughs> Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. Knock a few heads for old Stanyar Iron Hewer, eh? The Scarecrows are almost unstoppable, so don't be a hero. If you can't beat them, try trapping them while you make your escape. Using your new Daring Dash ability should help you get ahead of them quickly.
Lord, dead ahead. The nursery to gather me as favorite side dish. Step inside and understand the true horror of fruit gone bad. Fortescue, you jawless arrow magnet! What are you doing back here? <coughs> what? Call me Mr. Woden the Mighty! How I pity the people of Galomere that their fate should once again be in the hands of a chump like you! Still, I suppose it's not fair to take it out on them. Take my sword, and do try not to stab yourself in the foot. You know, I've always had my doubts about you, Fortescue. You're just not carved from hero material. The King Pumpkin sleeps. If you want an audience with this regal plant, you should mash all of his pod sacks. It is rumored that the Pumpkin Witch is in possession of a much sought-after Dragon Gem. If you have a Witch Talisman, you could summon this kindly witch. Greetings, kind sir. I am the Pumpkin Witch. I'm like a mother to those pumpkins. I give them all the love and care a young fruit could ever ask for. From the moment they first push a shoot above the soil, right up until their heads are cut off and eaten. And look, see how they repay me, running around and causing mischief. That nasty old big pumpkin has a bad influence on the young seedlings. If you teach him a lesson in manners, I might give you a nice present.
a most edifying spectacle, sir. Man and vegetable in a magnificent duel to the death. Oh, I've come over all of a doodar. Here, have this lovely dragon gem as your reward. Oh, lovely majestic creatures dragons are. Look at you running around in your bones, Fortescue. You're so nouveau dead. I, Ravenhoofs, last prince of the centaurs, have not galloped the earth in over 10,000 years. Do yourself a favor, Fortescue. Take my longbow. More powerful than a crossbow. The option of flaming arrows? It is truly the weapon of no Congratulations! You don't quite have my breeding, Mr. Johnny come lately, but there's hope for you yet. <laughs> Villagers, the master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. A crucifix once stood here, but the mayor took it. Find a replacement and see how the church should really look. Blacksmith's Monthly. Old man Willie Green of Gallows Town was awarded Smithy of the Season by our readers. His outstanding casts have produced many intricate and hard-wearing iron goods and sculptures. Willie only uses the finest of metals in his work and is particularly noted for his magnificent busts. <laughs> Old man Willie was quoted as saying, Aye, when I get pumping on me bellows, there's no stopping me. It's all in the rhythm, up and down, up and down. I've always been inspired by the stories of Stan, your iron hewer, <laughs> the greatest smithy there ever was. Dear sir and madam, on my travels across Galamere, I have come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. However, that which filled me with deepest dread was discovery of the tomb of the shadow demons. The key to their dank prison, the mysterious shadow artifact, is now in my possession. Yours fearfully, the town mayor.
Mr. Fortiske, I want to talk with you. If this Zorak so bad, why'd you get to go back? Why'd you of all people, Fortiske? He should be I, blood monath, skull cleaver. When I lived, always I had a pile of slain strewn around me. You, you spend most of your time organizing and changing of the guard and playing croquet with the king. <laughs> Still, I lend you my axe. You a swing her, you a throw her. She thirsts for a slaughter as much as I. Drink deep of demon blood, my proud beauty. This is the Garden of Zerok. Nothing here is as at first seems. To leave this maze, you must first seek out the one called Jack of the Green. Greetings, Sir Fortescue. My name is Jack of the Green. I am the master of riddles, and this maze is my domain. You are free to leave, but only once you've answered four riddles. Puzzles so fiendishly difficult, so perplexingly complex, that no man has ever solved them. Ha ha ha. Now, try my first riddle. <clears throat> At night they come without being fetched. By day. They are lost without being stolen. Well done, Sir Rabbit. But my star riddle was but a trifle. I always like to begin with an easy one. Return hither. You will not find my next conundrum so simple. I live for laughter. I live for the crowd. Without it, I am nothing. All right. Yes, it was a clown. Very clever, I'm sure. Return in haste, Sir Knight, for I wish to see the despair on your face when you hear my next cryptic puzzler. Face like a tree, skin like the sea, a great beast I be, yet vermin frighten me. Did you spot my bluff? I pretended that riddle was hard, but in truth it was obviously an elephant. This time, however, I almost pity you. The answer to my next vexing enigma has eluded the finest minds of a whole generation. Come to me. I tolerate the moon and stars. I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight and you'll see me turn and run. I grant you free passage through my maze. Find your own way out. 
Herr Fortescue, you are back on the battlefield, yeah? This is good. People say to me, Stungar, what do you think of this sword or that axe? But I say to them, nein! Modern warfare is a question of science, the science of shields. <laughs> I think maybe you should take my shield, yeah? It is magic, Herr Fortescue. Some say it is better to have a magic sword than a magic shield, but I say to you that this is rubbish! So long as you use it properly, the shield will make you invincible! <laughs> I'm glad to see you. That Zarek tried to force me to hand over the Shadow Artifact. He means to release the demons from their tomb under the enchanted forest. But I said to him, I said, You can't touch me, you lanky windbag. I'm the Mur. Ah, that told him. But then he had me locked up in here with all these nutters. Oh, it's been terrible. I haven't managed to get a word of sense out of anyone in weeks. <laughs> Right. Well, I'll see myself out, thanks. You have a good look around, lad. Zarek's left some stuff lying about that I think you might find useful. Oh, Danielle. I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. You fancy a little gamble, like? There used to be a coven of witches in the caves beneath Cemetery Hill. 
the whole forest never smelled the same since. Who has summoned the witch of the forest? Oh, it is you, Sir Fortescue. Forgive me, my lord. I have never met a real hero. <laughs> <laughs> Ahem. <laughs> Forgive me, just an old lady's little joke. In truth, I am glad to see you, Sir Fortescue. I need seven pieces of amber that are hidden in the ant's nest. Bring them to me, and I can grant you a special reward. I will only offer you this quest this once. Are you willing to give it a try? Sorry, didn't I mention I'd have to shrink you to the size of an insect? Now hurry back. Thank you for releasing me, sir. My people wish only to live our lives in blissful harmony with nature. But alas, the Wicked Egg Queen has many of us imprisoned. Rescue my people, Mr. Fortescue, and you will be richly rewarded. <laughs>
filthy and scum! As a reward, I can grant you passage to the Hall of Heroes. I've never been there myself, but I've heard they got a free bar. Daniel, Lord of the Ants. Hold still, and I'll remove the shrink spell. Oh, lovely, lovely Amber. Here you are tonight. A wart covered and cabbage smelling old crone I may be, but I always keep my promises. I grant you my reward. shall enter. The shadow demons are entombed within, separated from the world of goodness and light until the earth cracks open. No one, not even the Dark Lord Zarek, can release them without the shadow artifact. Leave now, or share their doom. Sir Dan, you must take the Shadow Demon Talisman. It is an unholy relic, but it may allow you to progress through Shadow Demon territory. Once again, the Shadow Demons are wreaking havoc across the land, and it's all thanks to you. The single most destructive and wretched creatures in the history of the world, and you've given them an early parole. They will be heading for the ruins of King Peregrine's castle. Galamir is doomed!
Dan, Dan, Dan. Don't be shy. I've seen you giving me the eye. You may be weak and feeble like old men, but I like you, Daniel. <laughs> now listen up. Your bow and arrows are fine for itty bitty jobs, but if you want to pack some serious heat, you should take this spear. <laughs> Cold and dark and reeking of death. We remember an ancient battle fought here between the forces of good and the dark armies of Zarak. Now the marshes are full of the restless dead. Greetings, stranger. I am the boatman. It is I who ferry lost souls on their final journey to the land of the dead. But hold, have we not met before? Sir Daniel Fortescue! Not you too. Thanks to Zarak's men, I'm up to me eye sockets and lost souls who've woken from the eternal sleep. Business hasn't been this brisk since before they invented sanitation. Look, if you help me to gather up a boatload of eight lost souls and bring them here, I'll, I'll drop you off at the sunken town of Melamede. How's that sound? How gracious of you. Makes a change to meet a polite young skeleton after dealing with those filthy zombie types. Hop aboard. Alright, Dan man, how you doing? <laughs> now then, have you got yourself a magic sword? <laughs> what? Daniel man, you can't go into battle against an army of undead without a magic sword. 
Here, take mine. You'll never have to sharpen another blade, or my name's not Dirk Steadfast. It's not enough just to have a magic shield, you know, no matter what that soft ticky stern card says. Good lad. Why, I'd sooner go into battle holding a tea tray than carry that weedy gale shield of his. Look at you. It must be 500 years since you were last of my ferry. You don't look a day over 400. Now, here we are. Zarok's magic has caused the lost mythical town of Melamede to rise from its watery grave. See you soon. Crystal contraptions that surround the whirlpool can freeze its dangerously turbulent waters. You will need all of the rune keys to activate the magical machines. Danielle, I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, right? The ancient town of Melomed was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation, deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
A mean old dragon can be summoned by inserting two dragon gems into the eye sockets of the relief. The grouchy dragon doesn't come out much, as he is afraid of the roof collapsing over his head. Take this dragon potion and leave me alone. Drink it when you need it. It gives you armor that is impervious to heat. Plus it lets you breathe fire. Now go away. Daniel, there you are. I was so worried about you. <laughs> I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I don't have many, but they're very powerful. <coughs> Off your pop, then, and keep your chin up. What the hell? Oops, sorry, Daniel. Now take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. Take care not to wake the Serpent of Galamir. It is a most powerful supernatural creature that was bound somewhere within these chasm walls. If you encounter it, run!
This magical barrier was constructed by the dragons of old. Only those brave enough to adorn the dragon armor may pass through this fiery gateway. Welcome to Castle Peregrine. In the time of King Peregrine, this magnificent edifice was the seat of power and home to the royal household. Now it is home only to ghosts and forgotten memories. The farmers are being held in the courtyard. At the first sign of trouble, the shadow demons will sacrifice the captives to the flames. Move quickly, slay the demons on guard, and release the farmers. <laughs> Sir, forgive us, Master. We have no pig to reward you, but we'd be honored if you'd accept these shiny gold colored stones as a token of our thanks. Long ago. This was once the majestic throne room of King Peregrine. Now foul demons stalk the corridors. Ah, the spirit of the king must be saddened indeed.
sometimes the ghost of King Peregrine can be seen wandering these halls or sitting mournfully upon his throne. Find his crown, and perhaps you can summon him. The castle was constructed on top of a dormant volcano. This great floodgate is all that stands between you and a very hot shower. Sir Fortescue, noblest of my courtiers, bravest of my captains. Oh, that we should meet at such a dark hour, with the fate of this realm lying once again in your hands. Good God, Fortescue, what's happened to your jaw? <laughs> Bad luck, old man. Now look, Zarok's army of shadow demons hide beneath us within this very mountain. They prepare, as we speak, to invade fair Galomir. If we are to thwart his plans, we must bring down the castle on top. We must unleash the lava behind the floodgates. I can take you to the gate's control lever, but you alone can pull it. Of course, it's a highly dangerous mission, even for a dead man. I dare say that when that fiend sees what you've done, he'll make sure you spend eternity in the most unspeakable torment. But then, I know these things mean nothing to a man of your iron will. Eh, hey, Fortescue? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Splendid. Good luck, old friend. The lava has been released, said Anne. The castle is collapsing. You will not have long to defeat the stone golems and escape the ensuing inferno.
The castle is about to be destroyed. The gates are locked. Find an alternative means of travel. I thought you ought to know we have a stowaway on board. I've told the men to scour the decks for him. Good! I want that scurvy dog gangling from yon yard arm by his bowels! Is that really necessary? Couldn't we just give him a good tongue lashing and drop him off at the next port? Look! There's not a man jack on this ship who wouldn't kill Hall his own grandmother for the silver in her hair! There'll be no tongue lashing! Bring the landlubber to me and I'll tear him a new orifice! Most of the crew seems to be under the control of a few officers. Without them, they'd be like headless chickens.
Those mischievous imps have been at Xerox spellbooks again. <sighs> They're shielded by magic, the naughty creatures. <laughs> know that if you release the entrapped souls in this chest, they will need help to be set to rest once again. Assisting these souls would earn one a place in Galamir history as perhaps the greatest of all its heroes. Is that something you would do, Sudan? If you do, history will be yours for the taking. The Secret Diary of Xerox. One hundred years I've spent in exile, using my anger to keep me warm, feeding off my suffering. Relaxing in my angst. Oh, but soon they will pay, all of them, including Fortescue. He thwarts my first plan to conquer Galamir, then posthumously claims to have killed me. When I find him, I'm going to get medieval on his bony behind. I never liked him anyway, always hanging around the court interfering. Where are you going with that dead cat, Zerok? Where did you find that brave Zerok? <laughs> Wretched busybody. Spellbook. Contents. Raising the Dead, page 5. Putting a town to sleep, page 71. Looking good for the over 400s, page 136. Robbing people of their free will, page 207. Summoning demons, page 268. Card tricks, page 298.
This metal keep houses the magical chariot that Zerok calls his train. The path it runs along leads eventually to Zerok's lair. However, your route is blocked by gates controlled at various way stations. Travel to these on the train, open the gates, and head for the lair. Prove us all wrong. Maybe it is destined to be a hero. Maybe it can defeat Zarok. The people of Galamir may never know of your past mistakes, and you will indeed be remembered as the people's hero. Your time in exile is over. Welcome to your new home, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Never thought you'd get this far. Your final encounter with Zarek awaits beyond this point. He has surrounded himself with his unnatural bodyguards, but you may yet even the odds by calling upon the lost souls collected within your chalice. Place the chalice on the shield at the heart of the arena. Good luck, Sir Daniel Fortescue. So we meet again. I see that a century spent as worm food has done nothing to diminish your naive obsession with the freedom of Galomir. Prepare to attack, my warriors. I want the dogs gnawing marrow from those bones within the hour. What is that, Fortescue? Your lucky cup?
Right then, that's it. I've just about had enough of your meddling. Where is that spell? Ah, yes. <laughs> no, not that spell. Oh. Oh, not right now. Aha! Now I have it. None shall defeat the mighty Zarok. <laughs> so prepare to die, Fortescue.